Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Spring 24 new feature that is add fields from related object. So if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comments, also subscribe the channel. Also you, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to log in into your uh, Spring 24 release or so I just logged in by spring 24 release of so how to enhance this new feature so you can enhance this feature please let me tell you this one suppose you have like a, a parent to child relationship in particular objects let's say account and contact have the lookup relationship that is account is a parent and contact is a child so in the related object so in the contact you can add parent of the parent object fields that is account so how to do that very simple so just you have to go to the Salesforce org. So I just logged in here. So you can open any application as you have. So under the app launcher, just click on this app launcher. So this is the app launcher here and search any application as we have. So let's say sales application. So just let me click on the sales. This application contains lots of tabs. And once you open this application, now you can see account and contact. Let me click on this contact here. So once you clicked on this contacts tab, so you will be see like a contact related records. Okay. So once you open it, now you can see this is a contact. So let me move it in all. So any contact on list view, just click on this list view. So you will be see the list view. And let's see the contact here, like all contact. And now you can see lots of contact, right? So let me open any record as we have. So let me open this empty record here. So once we open this record here, so immediately you can see, let's say details tab. So once you click on this detail tab, you can see lots of fields related in this contact object. But I want to add like account object fields inside the contact. So how to do that? Using this new feature. So just you have to do one thing under the uh, quick, uh, this uh, setup icon. So just click on this setup. And here you can see the edit page. So just click on this under this gear icon. Just click on this edit page. So just click on this edit page here. And once you clicked on this edit page, it's opened me a visual editor that is called App Builder, right? So this is the App Builder page here. So you have to edit this App Builder page. So just once we open it, now you can see here uh, this one. If you see this one, you can see like component and fields, two options. So let me click on this here in the details one. So under the details, you can see this uh, record details. Okay. So just let me close it. And once here, you can see this one, just click on this fields. And here you can see the field selection and accounts, right? So just, so just you have to drag and drop this field selection here. And let me drag here the field selection. So under the, this field selection, you can give this uh, sections one by one or something like that. So let's say, uh, make account details, make account data, something like that. You can maintain this thing. Okay, it's based on, uh, it's up to you. It's a details like this. So once you can see here, like account details, you can just drag and roll like account name here. Okay, so this is the account name here and active. Here you can uh, drag and drop this one and immediately you can see once we drag and drop this finish in this release is spring 24 immediately you can see that API name and object name in the dynamic form. So here you can see that API name and object name immediately. This is also a new feature. Please keep your mind this one. Also you can add anything as you want. Let's say industry. So let's say industry here or rating. Let me check the rating here. You can see the rating. Okay, so now you can see these four fields. Once you add these all fields inside this page layout, just let me click save this. And once you save this, you have to save this like this. And once you save it, immediately it asking like uh, activation, just click on this activation button. And once you click on this activation, it's open me a new, you know, like activation. You can assign like assign as all default this is the form factor so you have to select like desktop and phone i want to show this data in both desktop and phone as well so just click on this next save this once you saved it 
Now it's uh, saved here and activation successfully here. Just go back here. And once you go back here, immediately you will be see this kind of, you know, uh, this new feature inside this code tag. So under the code tag, you will be see like account details in particular section. So just click on this detail here. Now immediately you can see like account detail and uh, this is like account name, industry active and rating for this one. After that, you can see the contact detail, right? You can divide it, divide your section wise for better understanding. So let me add it, uh, this page and let me add some more information about this contact. So let me add in this page again. And once you edit it, now you can maintain these features here. Okay, so let me do that things here. So here, just click on this detail. Under the detail, I already created that section. So let me edit this one, like uh, account detail. Okay, so this is the uh, label. So under the label, you can give any, you know, like uh, information about this account. So this is account detail, you can add this icon as well because it's a better, you know, visualization of this, you know, UI. So you can increase your UI like this. Okay. So also align, you can maintain the align, alignment or it's like the field and event horizontally. Right. So based on your need. So after that, you can add another section to, you know, like contact detail. So under this field, we have to add this section here. And you can just drag and drop this one inside this one. Right. So this is another feature here. You can use it based on your requirement. Right. So and another feature, you can maintain this kind of things. Let's say this one and also like details. So in the detail, you have to maintain another hero you know, like feature. So under the detail, once you edit it, like detail, okay. So it's a label, it's a label here, or you just click on this custom, or let's see, a custom, under the custom, like detail. So you can add any icon as you want, let's say detail. I want to add this one here. So once you add it, after that, you can select details, right? Here, and click on this done button. Immediately you can see detail, and related as well, you can add it, then related, uh, Okay, so under the related, under the related one, you click on this one and add this one as a custom, the like custom and add a here, let's say, anything as you want, uh, let's say, say like a related, so you can add a relatedness, like this one, like a relate. Okay, so this is another, uh, you know, uh, enhancement in the, uh, you can add it like this. So let me save this one. And let's say in the action. So once you save this, immediately you will be see these changes inside your, you know, record page. So once you save it, just you have to go back here. And this is the better UI to understand this kind of things. So here, I just refresh this page. And uh, once you refresh it, you can see this record here, right? Like related with this icon detail. Once you click on detail, immediately you can see some icon account details. And like, this is, you know, these all sections comes comes from the account object and this comes under the contact. So you can add like related things as we already discussed in my title that is add fields from related object. So this is how you can add related object fields inside any kind of you know custom or standard object. So I think guys you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments also subscribe the channel also you can turn all the bell icon for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys